So in this video, we're going to cover finding and replacing text in Microsoft Word. What this means is we need to start with some text. So I'm going to use my favorite equals rand 5 comma 5. And what this is going to do is pull quote unquote random text from the help file. If you do this on your system, you too should get the same text so that you can practice as you do this video. So finding and replacing text. Well, if you notice up here, there is a find and there is a replace. There's also select for selecting all, which we do with the control A key as well, selecting objects and etc. But this video, we're going to talk about finding. I'm going to go ahead and open the find here so that we can see that as I type something in, like find the word video and hit the enter key, we can see each time that word is presented in this text that we have. Now, if you notice here, each one that I highlight, it takes me to that section and that instance of the word, okay? So let's say we didn't want, for example, video, but instead wanted to replace it. We could come up here, and if you notice, because video was highlighted, we can go ahead and replace the word video. I'm going to replace that with moving pictures, for example. So in this case, I can replace, and what it's going to replace is the highlighted version of the word. I can replace every instance of video, for example, or find next. So I can choose replace, and as you notice, because I capitalized it, here is moving pictures, okay? I can find next, it finds the next, I can replace it, or I can replace all. Now, if I do the replace all, you'll notice everywhere that it had the word video, it now says moving pictures. If I was to close this, come in here and look for the word video, you should no longer find it, and you'll notice that there's no matches because everywhere that we did that find and replace, it's replaced with moving pictures, okay? So there is a basic find and replace. Now, I wanna go ahead and open up this replace again because if you notice, there's more options down here. I can make sure to match case. Thus, if it's a common name like green and I'm writing a document about the green environment written by Mrs. Green, which would be capitalized, I'd want to make sure that I only do capitalization in changing green. So maybe Miss Green's name, I doubt we'll find any greens in here, but Mrs. Green's name, notice there are none in the existing document, would be replaced. So if you notice, when you click design, we can see design and themes. So let's go ahead and do this for theme. So I'll put in theme and uh, we search the section, can't find any matches. Do you want to uh, check the rest of the document? Yes, there's an issue of theme. Notice in themes. Okay. I don't want to replace in this case. I'm looking for that. But maybe I would want to replace it with a lower case theme. So watch my instance up there. Notice now it says themes. Same thing here, I can replace that one with theme. And then of course, I can start searching at the beginning of the document. So in this case, I'm matching the case. If there was a lowercase theme, it wouldn't replace it. All right, that should be good. Let me know if you have any questions in regards to finding and replacing text within a document.